Wait. What the heck? Uh, someone else is in the store in that case. Wait, someone's in the store. Yo, I can't get through. What the heck is going on? Someone is in the store. I am not looking behind. I refuse to move. No, I downloaded the game? Oh. That sucks, I thought I already had it downloaded. Well, I guess soon as we got time to go ahead and install this thing, let me go ahead and break down what we're playing today. So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to a playthrough of the convenience store. I'm probably the last YouTube you guys to see and play this game, right? This has been a horror I've had my eyes on for a while, and I figured now would be about the best time to experience it. Let me just go ahead and plant you guys in the situation. You guys managed to get yourselves a job at a convenience store, and unfortunately, it is your turn to take the night shift. Now, that alone is basically all of the information we have about this game. What this entails, who knows? But the only way we really figure this out is by checking it out and playing it. Go ahead, click play now and find out! Ooh. Such a still home screen with basically no sound other than some crickets in the distance. Alright. Before we go ahead and delve into this, I am aware that this is about an hour experience, so this is probably going to be a bit of a longer video. I'm also uploading this on Monday, the days where typically I'm much more busier, but I just still wanted to play this game and get it out there for you guys to enjoy, so there's probably going to be less edits, but who cares. Guys, this is Smash Fight, we're at a convenience store, let's get this game. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Alright, so we can move simply... Escape for options. Uh, okay. Slept well? Well, that's good to know. You should be ready then for the night shift. Nice little crib. That's what time we looking at? Half 11. Now, uh, I'm gonna assume, lady, this, uh, you know, this crap dripping down from the ceiling. Design choice or nah, okay? <laughs> what the freak? That's a little plushy chinchilla. We got snacks on deck. Okay, but we gotta get ready. Do I need to explore the house? So it looks like we are just simply renting a one-room apartment in this complex. Uh, I don't really like the fact that this window can be seen through at basically all times. Can we just see? This is the view that the person outside gets. Got a microwave, fridge, a TV, small amount of things on the shelves. I guess it's time. And is that the convenience store? It's dark outside. Well, in that case, we probably need a torch of some kind. Change clothes? Yep, we may as well go ahead and do that. Guess this is getting ready. Did I leave a flashlight anywhere laying around here? Hey, Chinchi, have you seen it? Short for chinchilla, guys. I, I don't know. <laughs> we do. Wait, maybe we're in a house then. Close the door behind us. Aha. So that must be the cooking area or something like that. <laughs> Gotta bring a flashlight. Okay. Uh, is it in the bathroom? Let's take a look in here. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. Where might it be? Aha. Just on the table there. Definitely pick up the flashlight. Now we can see a little bit more. We won't open that door specifically. No idea why, and I really don't care. We rock in that second fridge because obviously we eat a lot of food. Honestly, good eating is that good life. I need to eat something, change, and grab a flashlight before I leave. Oh, well, you've done two of those, ladies, so I guess the good eating part is all that's left. Wait, probably the chips on the table, right? It is. Hmm. Oh! Okay, we got a snack right there. Yeah, we place this in the microwave, warm it up, for sure. At least we'll let that do its thing. May as well close the fridge behind us. Guys, all we're doing is getting a snack before work. Nothing really scary about this. It's just someone in a normal situation. Taking a look out the window, looking like a cold night. You see that low fog basically covering the streets. Pretty dense. I guess we're most likely walking there too. So now we wait. And we keep waiting. Thank you. Eat the bento, you already know. Dang, dude, that awfully crunchy. Okay, so we've got dressed, we've got ourselves a flashlight, and we've eaten the bento. We are good to leave our apartment. Hey, Chinchi, be good, okay? Let's go, man. We begin our trek. Ooh, ambience kicking in. We probably want to close the door. Let's uh, lock that up behind us. What is this wall all about? We'll live next to something. I have no idea. May as well pick up the pace. You know, it's kind of interesting how this game actually allows us to travel to the store by foot. Usually these games kind of cut us to the situation and lets us build the world a little bit down here. Well, that staircase has fallen down, so we're not getting down that way. Let's see. Maybe uh, this way here. Can I hop down? Okay, here we go. Going down some stairs. A little bit windy. Not the most efficient way to get to work, but it is a way to work nonetheless. We want to travel through these streets. Let's check out this way here. Maybe we always walk the right way. Tonight, I want to go a little bit of a different path to my job. I get bored of walking the same way. There is not a single person around this entire estate though. This is interesting, it's completely dead. So we cross the bridge and I feel like, aha, the convenience store. Very, very desolate town, you know? Seems like everyone is sleeping and you just got this guy on the outskirts and also this guy right here, I think. Hey buddy, what's good? I mean, he's looking, can we? Okay, I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of, the day of judgment will come. Yeah! 
Okay, we're gonna just let you sit there. Listen, so long as you don't come in my store, I ain't got no problems. 13 bucks an hour at night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. Okay, and so we begin. Hey, how's it going, Derek? <laughs> oh my god, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. <laughs> okay, so wait, that's it? I guess I'll get the flashlight off for now. Yo, these shelves looking colorful. Hey, no wonder I like this job. Little convenience store, man. Bit of everything for us to snack on, too. Hmm, looks like summer expired. Okay, I actually take that one back. This shelf looks fine. How about top shelf here? This shelf looks fine, too. Just another day at the job, guys. Doing our inspection as we go around. Let's take a look here. Most, ooh, okay, I was gonna say most of them are good. No! Some now are expired still. We gotta search for what's good and what's not, guys. Take them off the shelf. Take the trash right there. Yeah, we'll be back for you too soon. All right. Where do I place this in? I suppose around the back here. Is my guy still around the corner? Oh, he's still chilling. Yo, you want this trash? Uh, give expired food? I guess so. Whoa, 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 whoa! Alright. Okay, I see you walking that way. My gosh. Guys, we give him the expired food. Look at the stride he's got. I mean... My man's happy. I'm not allowed to be that one. <laughs> eh, more expired food. Take those off the shelf as well. Yo, see you around, crazy man. That's kind of cool, actually, and get rid of expired food for me. We've got to find another way where we put the trash. First of all, this car has headlights on. Can't inspect that. That's fine. Guess we take the trash then behind here. Throw it in there. That's pretty much it then. Get rid of some of that, at least. Now, I did see some police tape towards the back. I want to investigate what that was all about. I don't like... A look at this situation, guys. Let's see. Hmm. Flashlight on, maybe? I really don't see that much. I can see a little bit down there. You know, I wish I could see what that says. It might just be like construction work, perhaps. So that's something I guess I don't need to be worried about, if so. But it could also be someone being killed. So also that. Coming in the back rooms here, guys. And we've got things stored here, too. Overstock. Always good to have more than what we need. We can just replace it back on the shelves after then. So close that door. Let's keep inspecting. Thank you's choice. Hey, I'll give it a try. I guess not today, but at some point. Now, I see these two points back here. We can't open this, though. Oh, yes, we can. Enter counter. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we need us to do. Uh, Derek, you want to go home? I'll set your glasses are bending around your forehead. Let's go in the back room here. Shut this up. Ah, paperwork. Lame. So we've got a clock in. Where do we place this? In here, maybe? We will punch in. All right, so we just took out the trash and we didn't get paid for that. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me, your manager? One step ahead, buddy. Ah, uh, wait. Yo, hey, man! Um, I guess I'll see you then. Hey, Derek's always been the rude kind, guys. Just walks off without even telling you. Let's use the CCTV. Let's see what this place has caught or maybe hasn't caught. Let's see what's just going on around the store for now. No problems with that one. Nothing wrong with camera two. We've got a man coming in. There might be two. Oh no, that's Derek walking in the distance right there. Nothing fishy behind the back. Okay, everything looking good? Hello, sir! Yes, we are waiting here. How can I help you today? Okay, he's just gonna stare at me and look at me. Okay, that must have been Derek's car then. Derek driving that Mini. Oh, he's off. I kinda wanna look through the CCTV as he pulls away, but let's do our job. We're behind the cashier counter. We don't want no one stealing anything. There he goes! See you later, Derek! Thanks for doing the shift earlier for me. Um... Dang, you see that? Sharp turn. My gosh, that's some talent. <laughs> oh, looking like he's found exactly what he wants. Well, that's good. Guess we're just gonna keep waiting. Man, this must be a very lonely shift to take, right? Don't even have my cell phone, no Nintendo Switch. I really do have to just try and keep myself occupied for all this time. All right, let's go and help our customer. If we can, I guess we go up to the cashier point right here. There we go. So, gonna scan his items. Can you place them on the table, my dude? Thank you, come again. I literally got a mild jump scare from that, guys, because I wasn't aware that that's how it worked. Thank you, customer. You enjoy your snacks. <gasps> Talking of snacks, yo, we have sushi to the side. Oh, my God. I would be eating all of this, okay? He starts his car up, and he simply leaves just like everyone else. You must meet so many faces doing a job like this, right? And you'll never likely learn their names. I mean, yeah, of course you'll have your regulars, but those passing by, I wonder what his plans was. What was he doing before this, you know? All these sorts of questions. That is actually a thought I commonly have. You know when you're like driving a long distance, you might be driving down the highway or something and things get busy. It might still be flowing with the traffic, but every single one of those people in one of those cars has a different plan towards something that they're going about in their day. Who really knows what they're even doing, dude, you know? It's kind of fascinating to think that way. Oh, okay, looks like we got a van pulling up. Wait, that was the van that was parked around the left side. I'm not really sure what they were waiting for or doing. It's not my concern. Maybe they're pulling up, perhaps. 
I'm so confused. I think a ghost just walked in, guys. Um, yeah. This is kind of weird. Let me just stand back a bit. Um, okay. It's kind of abnormal. The door is messing up. What the freak? Hold up. Let me check with this. Use the CCTV. And okay, let me see the doors. They closed. Um, I don't really see anything else. We'll leave the cameras. Don't know what caused that, but hey, man. Things can get trapped in the door, right? Could have been the wind. Likely wasn't. <laughs> ah, get comfortable, guys. Get comfortable. We got a long haul ahead of us. The night shift can be very, very tiring. Wait, someone's revving their engine. They're behind here. Uh, okay. I mean, I may as well go ahead and check what's going on. It sounded like they pulled up, maybe? It would have been the guy in the van. So, let's go back outside. I hear how the ambience cuts. Ah! It's Roger. Doing his delivery. Hey, Roger. How's it going, man? Parcel for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> it's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Okay. We may as well take this thing. Thanks, Roger. Ah, uh, drive safe, bud. Who the heck would ship me a parcel? Take it home? Do I trust it? Um... It's kind of strange. I don't even know what it is. I mean, we may as well take it. Uh... Did we just get a buzz cut? We, we cook him food. Close the door behind us. What is the parcel, then? It's a VHS tape. Uh, whilst food's doing its thing, maybe I'll put this guy in. What is the meaning behind this? Why would someone just send us literally a VHS tape? Watch closely. Not too closely. Uh, because it's bad for your eyes. I don't know what that... Wait, what? Is that behind the back of the convenience store? Oh, That's it?! Um... So, I think someone might be stalking us down a little bit. Hey, Chinchi, what's your thoughts, man? Do we have no comments about what we've just seen? We don't even seem remotely alarmed. Um... Oh... Okay. Guys, I'm starting to think we didn't have any food laying around. Like, we had the microwave on, but for no reason at all. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's open the door. And we can head back outside. No restrictions, guys. Okay. Wait, first night? I thought I just had my first night. What the freak was that all about then? I guess we go again. Maybe it means first night of whatever's going on. Close your freaking door. What are you doing? All right, well, that was kind of suspect. I had a parcel delivered to us. I... Kind of wish I left it at the place and didn't take it back with me. We'll keep going the normal way, though, guys. We'll go to work again, and I'll join you guys once we're there. Hopefully, anyway, if nothing snaps my back knee up. Where's my man at tonight? He mustn't have turned up. We're still chowing down on that expired food coming through. Hey, how's it going, Derek? You good? Why do, why do you just stare at me? Why do you never talk back when I ask how you're doing? Hey, hey, so I heard that you reported the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor and it seems like the wirings were a little loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they are all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Derek, I am gonna literally make you eat those words. Would you please punch in? What, punch your face because you keep shooting down on my ideas? All right, we'll punch in. I guess Derek's gonna go home. Yep, see you later, Derek. Have a good one, man. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this has to get rid of those rodents ASAP, your manager. Well, Derek's lazy, so I guess that means basically I gotta do it. Rodent spray. Well, we gotta get it done. Let's find these rodents. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. <laughs> I don't want to be doing this. Now, I sure hope this is some kind of, like, deterrent spray, as opposed to, like, actually killing the poor guys, because, listen, they don't know different. They just need to find some food, right? I'm gonna assume it's that, even though it probably isn't. Wait, someone came in the store. Better hurry up. It's number five. Number six. Oh, boy. Yep, there's nothing down there, and there's also no crazy guy. Okay, we'll be back for the last one. I really don't see it anywhere, guys. Must be hiding. Oh, wait, got ya! Close the door, flashlight off, look normal. Hello! Hello, customer! How is it going? Um... Where are you? There she is. It's an old lady. She's got a Zimmer frame. Are you all right? Hello, how can I help you today? Please don't walk into my face. She walked into my face. Okay. You must have had a crazy night, huh? I bet you don't even need that Zimmer frame. <laughs> what? What else am I supposed to do? There's an old lady taking her sweet time. I gotta do something, guys, so boogie down. Just vibe with me. Check CCTV real quick. Ah, uh, there's no problems. 
Someone's pulling up in a car. The old lady, though, is in the bathroom, I believe. So I guess we'll simply leave her to it. Let's get back to our next customer, though. Hi, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a cigar? Hurry up! All right, you freaking mafia-looking scum. There's your cigarettes. So he wanted five packs of beers? My gosh. So long as you drink them when you're not on the road, <laughs> then we're all good, okay? Beer, beer, beer. He's looking like... Go get it yourself. Don't speak too loud. This guy might be top dog. I assume that they're probably in here somewhere. Okay, take four, five. Sounded like we got five right there. Unless we literally have to do one at a time. We have to do one at a time. You have two hands, girl. What the heck? The only thing making this bearable is the bossa nova in the background right now, guys. Honestly. <laughs> okay, so we got him all the beer cans. I guess now all we gotta do is take that. We scan this. Thank you. No problem. See you later, weirdo. Oh, she's back. Was it okay in there? Did you feel better? Or something? Um... Why is she kissing me? Wait. What the heck? Huh? Where's Kenkun? You know where Kenkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you! Um... He's just gonna mosey on back. Did you miss the toilet lady? Okay, toilet looking good. I can't believe it actually let me check the toilet. I'm a little bit scared. See you later, lady. I really hope you can find Kenkun holding the doors for her. And we'll let it go just like that. Okay, let's go back behind the counter. What is the next step, if any at all? What the heck? Um, again? Ah, uh, we got the music going a bit bumpy too. It's kind of strange. I'm keeping my distance, guys. We'll look behind here. What is happening? If it was just a problem with the wiring, why would the music start fuzzing up at the same time too? That is my question. And we already have- we, we also know we've been being sent strange stuff from someone. Oh my gosh. Do I really want to take the next tape? Because I got a suspicion the delivery van might turn up soon after. How do I get this thing to stop? Do not want to go close to the door. Maybe I got to? Guys, I'm going to do it. Oh boy, oh boy. Please don't mess me up. Stop doors, come on, stop. Wait, what the heck? There was someone there! Hold up. What? Yo, there was like a kid there or something. I know you guys saw that too. And look at this on cue. Looks like the delivery guy is coming back again. Hey, Rodney! Yeah, crazy night, man. You wouldn't even believe it. What? No parcel for me? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. It does. Let me just check the back rooms for you. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pass it to him. Give the package? Yes. Uh, see you, Rodney! Yep, take care. I hate this job. Off he goes. Into the dead of the night once again. So what's left for us, huh? I feel like we're pretty much done here. Close the door. Um, guess we just simply wait for our shift to finish. Just like that. Second night. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's keep going with this then. Wait, what is this? Uh, get the umbrella. Oh, it's raining outside. Look. Why did you put the umbrella up in your room? Wait, hold up. What the freak was that? You know if you put an umbrella up, it's seven years bad luck indoors. Okay, those doors locked. I swear I just heard something open. Chinchi, was it just me? Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. Is someone trying to pick the lock? If that door is open. Okay, let's take a look. Someone slipped us a package. We have to take it, guys. What did we find? Another VHS tape. Listen, I'm gonna play it. This is not good, guys. This is not good. I'm gonna close the door. What is this? Wait, where is he? It might be upside down. I'm not sure what we're looking at right there. I know nothing about what that one just tried to show us, guys. That was a weird one. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Look at this. Brain tipping down that side point here. One thing which is definitely a problem, and I'm also going to start walking a bit quicker. The guy that delivered the package to us, he knows exactly where we live. And it's definitely the same person because he's sending us basically the same thing every time. Oh boy, man. It makes visibility so difficult. I can barely see where I'm going. Uh, it's not that way. We look for the street lights. That's our indication of how we get to our job. Let's make it hasty. I don't want to stay on this storm much longer. You know, the guy that was sat on the side there, I really hope it's not him. But I don't know, guys. Flashlight off. Let's get inside. Woo! Dang. Derek? Where the heck you at? Did he slack off work again and not tell anyone? Derek! I'm here! You in the back rooms? What are you doing back there? Bro, 
He's not here. Wait, what is this? Um, I guess we just start our job, no questions asked. We gotta pack the shelves, let's get to it. What are you doing, you weirdo? You, you, were you in there? Hold up, he don't even want to talk to us. I don't want to talk to you either. Man, skip this idiot. I'm just going to stack shelves. Uh, Derek, where do they go? <laughs> there we go. We'll restock the shelves right there. A tiny little opening. So with that done, Derek, what's the meaning behind you hiding in lockers? You weird person. Who? <coughs> That's literally 37 seconds late. I got you good, huh? Yeah, you're so funny, Derek. Okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. Listen, I'm punching in, Derek. Get out of my sight. Yeah, you walk on, buddy. Don't phase through stuff. Now that's just pure creepy. Okay, just go. Just go, thank you. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelf full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning, your manager. I mean, I did at least part of that. Maybe there's more that we're gonna find in the back room to keep this going. You know, I should really write a note to the manager. This back door needs to be locked up. It's just open completely. Anyway though, let's see what else we got here. Looks like maybe magazines of some kind. Wait, what the heck? Uh, someone else is in the store in that case. What the freak? That must be Derek. Did he lock me? Wait, someone's in the store. Yo, I can't get through. What the heck is going on? Someone is in the store. Derek, go pull off, man. Oh my God, I can't even check who it is. We ransacking the place. Can I see? Two, three, yeah, pull up. What the freak is going on in this store? Listen, I'm about to resign. I don't care about $13 an hour or whatever. Someone's coming in the store. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? You look like a, a hospital dude? Like, hey, and I'll be with you in just a sec. I genuinely have no idea where these go, guys. It's like paperwork or something. Doesn't seem to be falling on any of the shelves, though. It's really difficult to find. Aha, we restock right there. It must have been meat. Okay, listen, we'll be with you right now, my guy. Busy night, open heart surgery. What's the deals? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, so you know, don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Wait, you don't work at a hospital? What, why are you dressed like you work in a hospital? Okay, now let me just take a peek out back. Hold up. I think strange out there. I don't even need to go outside. I have no reason to. Let's keep packing the shelves. So that looks like some kind of ready meal or something. Let's see, ready meals. This one is completely bare. I'll restock that. Nice. Look at that first try, man. Guys, I think I've restocked all the shelves. I think I can hear the guy behind here too. Yep. So the air conditionings are just over there. Do I want to monitor him like so or should I check through the CCTV? Because I don't want to be creeping. <gasps> Did you just see that? This game is so creepy, man. So the tape is down. I'll skim through these real quick. There's nothing more there. He should really be conscious about that. I think I might go back there, guys. Just chill with him. Uh, this is very, very weird. Oh my gosh. What the freak? What is this? A wrench? Do I need this for anything? Oh, the flashlight on. Can I look back here? Yo, I shouldn't be doing this. What the heck am I doing? This is literally destined for a bad time. That door doesn't open. Um, I'll check behind here. I should just be doing my job. Am I seeing crap out of the corner of my eye? Why is this place blocked off though? There's nothing really wrong back here. I don't understand. Open the AC? Why would I start doing the guy's job? I'll say no for now. Let me see what he says because he came back in the store. Oh wait, it's another lady. What are you... Okay, at least she's keen. She knows what she's looking for. Did the man report back to us or did he just get out of here? He's not here. He's just gone. She knows what she wants. Hey, how you doing? Okay, we'll place that there for now. Listen, we'll help the lady out. Scan the items. Is that good? Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? Ah, I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now, be careful. Wow, I don't even know this lady. She just straight up gave me some stuff. I am gonna sell it, by the way. Okay, let me go back here one second, guys. There was something that we had to do with the AC. It's like, open the AC. There's something in there. It's like a glowing item. What is that? What is it? It's a key. Wait, could the key be for the place back here? Um, I guess we're gonna find out right now. It was, the door is unlocked. However, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. It feels like something is grabbing me. I can't open it. No matter what. Wait. We shouldn't have unlocked that. There is no way for us either to lock it back up. It doesn't give us the option. Yo, I'm getting head shivers, man. You know why? Because this game 
It just drops you in the situation. It doesn't force anything upon you. It's just a kind of slow build, terrifying experience. What was that? Wait, 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 hold up. Is that a security camera doing that? It's back here. What is it? Um... Is it doing anything? Guys, I don't understand. Again? Flashlight off. I'm gonna look like a weirdo once I break out of here. Someone's in the store, guys. I can't do anything about it. I would probably just be completely sad. <sighs> even the toilet's trying to kill me! What can I even do? Do I just wait? Check the door. What the heck? Someone just broke in. Trashed the store. There's someone working on the computer. What the freak is going on? I'm gonna check the CCTV. We're gonna see something right now. Guys, I messed up. What? When we unlock that back door, we just let something in. What the heck is going on? Even more stuff thrown all over the floor. What do I even want to do? I really don't like this, guys. I'm gonna go back out a second. Can we pick this up? It's talismans. Oh my gosh. We probably shouldn't have even touched these. What does it say? Do I take them to here? Exercise the door. What did we just find? How has this body been here for so long? It's got a number four on the screen. What is this? Manager. He's completely gone. Wait, the door is sealed up. My guy. What the freak? His eyes are bleeding. Wait, can I hear something? What is this about four? Whoa, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That door is still closed. Don't move. Who do I want to be nearer to? This guy? Or oh, the door? Neither? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Keep both in our sight at all times. Ah! Whoa! I can't. Oh my god. Bro. I am not looking behind. I refuse to move. Okay, I look behind. I did it again. Guys, light off. Light back on. It's not changing anything. I can't do anything. I can't disconnect this. What is happening right now? I got another VHS. Get the heck in the machine, dude. Let's watch this tape. It's the door. More specifically, the doorway. Where inside of that was our manager. That must have happened recently. So what about if when we go to work today, everything is changed? This could be such a jacked up experience, guys. The demon knows where we live already. This is just going south so quickly. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? I really hope so, man. Like, truly, I believe that must have been a dream. It could not have been real, right? That was legit possession. No commentary getting to our job, guys. Literally head down, just getting to this place. So, Derek isn't here again. Where could this man be? This door's open. Yo, this is just bizarre. The toilet is open, too. It's like the same situation we left this place in. We can check the camera feed. Let's see if that's jacked up. This back is open. Yeah, Derek is left. Look at this. There's nothing there. So we need to verify if what we saw was real. If the body is still back there, then everything we just experienced really did happen. Please don't let it be true. Please don't let it be true. We c you thought it was a nightmare. This really happened, guys. Something is literally contained within there. I... I'm out. I am not spending any more time back here. The police tape over that. There was a reason why it was there. Don't jump out on me. Seriously, do not do it. I, I can't even punch in. All I can do is check the CCTV. Let's see what's going on here, dude. Our camera feed is good. Um, There's nothing really alarming in any of them. I don't know what I'm really looking for, guys. Get back to it. Whatever the heck we're supposed to do. You know, it's interesting because the manager left no more notes. So about this whole thing with what we just experienced not being real, I don't know, guys. I think everything we just saw really did happen. Wait. What even is this? I, is it like branches and twigs snapped up? Wait, this again going AWOL. I don't know, we can't even leave. It's like we're trapped in here. There's something wrong with this convenience store. Look, there's TVs everywhere. Turn it on. Oh, I don't know if I should be doing this. I'm gonna put them all on, guys. I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do. Wait. Was that by the door? Um, it's like bells and all sorts of things just swinging. We can turn a certain amount on, but 
How are we ever to know the right order for this? Okay, we have a puzzle, guys. There's something going on. Bathroom. Okay, bathroom, though. That still looks fresh as freak, so that's nice. Let's figure this puzzle in, guys. Now, I think the security cameras will be the answer. Whoa, there's a little kid! Where the heck's it going? Um... It's walking down the second aisle. It's looking at a TV. Is it saying that we do that one first? So, okay. The bottom one in the second aisle. I'm gonna forget this, guys. Bottom one in the second aisle. I can't quite make out which one that is. It's... Ah, oh, it's so difficult to see which one that was, man. This one, and then in this section. I think it must have been, again, this TV here. Okay, he's looking at the top one there. I think I might just get this done, you know, just so I can definitely remember this. It's hard, there's a lot of TVs. Perhaps this one here? Wait, I turned the wrong TV on. He walked down a little bit more. So the one in this row is completely wrong anyway. Dang. Okay, that last one's easy to remember. Okay. I think I'm roughly there with this. Okay, let's see. Then it was this one here. Maybe... Oh, I hope this is right, guys. It's wrong. Are you kidding me? So maybe it's that one. I've, I've literally forgotten already. There's so many possibilities for this. Let's try these four here. It's gonna be wrong, isn't it? It's no good again, man. Wait. Oh my god, please. I think... Thank goodness that worked, guys. I've been doing this... Hey, what's wrong, kid? You broke your leg? What are you doing? Holy crap! Yo, that's a tall lady right there! We're just in the back rooms, minding our own, so nothing happened. We can open the door. We can do whatever we want all over again. Someone's coming through. Is it a regular customer? What the heck? The doors are doing its thing again. Stay open. It's a tape. The fourth night. Another tape, though, man. You can hear footsteps in the back as we got there. So we're back in our apartment again. What's this? We can interact with the box or something. I don't get it. what it's saying. We can put the other tape in the bin, or we can be curious. I mean, bro, I'm kind of curious, man. I know we've got, like, multiple endings here. Wait, now I got the tape. So I can put it back in the box and send it away. I can watch the final tape. I can bin it, put it all behind me, and imagine it never happened. Yeah, every Let's Play probably just watches the tape, guys. Um, in terms of packaging it up and sending it away, I don't know about that one. Trashing seems disrespectful. What about if we send it back to the person who gave it to us? No, 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 we don't want to send it off to someone else. We'll trash it. That goes straight in the bin, guys. Are you sure? Yes! yes. I'm not watching the tape. I already know what's going to happen. It's not going to end well. So what happens by trashing the tape? Sleep in bed? I'm just trying to sleep. I feel like uh, maybe this will be the bad ending, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. We may have summoned it straight to our home. Let's see. Oh, there's something back there. It's coming. I, I can't move. Sleep paralysis. Yeah, we invited that demon scum straight into our property, didn't we? I, yeah, I can't move whatsoever, guys. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there she is! She climbs up the bed, straight in her face! Did she snap our neck up? Because I felt like our neck definitely got snapped up. Sounded like a twig branch, you know? Necks might sound like that. I have no idea. But that's the game done. Either way, that didn't sound like the best ending to that situation. But an ending nonetheless. It was. You know, I wonder, had if we sent the tape off, would have we then been okay? I got a suspicion that, you know, the crazy dude that was coming along saying his bullcrap, I think that maybe he gave us the tape to pass on the curse. So, to get the best ending, we would have probably have had to have done the exact same thing. But would that really be a good ending? It would be for us. But all we'll be doing is just sending the curse to someone else to suffer. And that alone is a load of bullcrap. But I think that's the game, guys. Nice little adventure. Very interesting tape. I said tape, not thinking. I meant tape. You know what I mean. Okay, let's see. Any post credits? That's what I'm curious for, man. Wait, it wasn't. And we're back at the menu. 
So that's it guys, that was the convenience store. A very interesting take on a horror experience. You know, it's fun with these indie games because they don't rush it. They leave a lot of it up to the imagination and then they do reveal traits too. It's a nice balance. I felt like this game was a great atmospheric experience all throughout and I'm glad I played this one. Other than that though guys, that's about all I gotta say about this game. A nice spooky adventure. We managed to complete the whole thing in one video and I hope you guys did enjoy this experience. If you did, why not drop me that like rating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.